How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to valet your car at the casino. So to start off I'm going to pull up my map and set a waypoint over to the casino. And to pull up your map for the Xbox One version all you have to do is hit the button with the three lines and then hit A. And the casino is actually at the right spot of my waypoint there. So now I'm going to get into my motorcycle and drive on over to the casino and I will see you guys once I get there. In order to valet your car, you actually have to go in through the main entrance of the casino, which is right here, and drive up to this valet guy. And sometimes there will be a little screen that will pop up in the top left of your screen, but I do not see it popping up, so I'm going to hit right on the directions pad, which should automatically valet my car. Let me see if I can get it to pop up here really quickly. Oh, I saw it there for about half a second. As the guy is valeting my car, I'll pop up a picture of what the screen will look like when it asks you if you want to valet your car. And it will also automatically put you into the casino. So if you want to go to your penthouse, unfortunately you will have to walk into the casino and then go to the elevator to access your penthouse. And it's also a little different way to get your car out of the valet, which I'll be showing you. But as you can see, I just got loaded in. And it actually looks like I can spin the lucky wheel. So let's do that really quickly while we're in the casino. And then I will show you guys how to get your car out of the valet. And I actually have this car to the left here. It's a Dominator that I have in my garage. So hopefully I don't win it because I actually don't need the car because I currently have another one. Though I could sell the other one depending on if I land on this car or not. But let's give it a spin here and see what I get. If you don't know how to spin the lucky wheel, you can hit the card in the top right of your screen to watch a video that I made on how to spin the lucky wheel. But looks like I didn't win the car. It just looks like I won 25,000 in chips, which is okay. I'm going to leave it in my account for now, and I will actually cash it out later because I have tons of chips that I can actually use at the casino. A normal valet would require you to exit the building and then talk to the valet driver to get your car back, but this is a little different. First, let me walk out and show you why what you think might work doesn't actually work. So you might think that you can walk up to the valet guy and you see something on your screen. But no, even if you walk over here, there's nothing in the top left of your screen. Even if you hit right in the directions pad, nothing's going to work to be able to get your car back. And you actually won't see it on the map because the valet guy has it. So there's only one way to get your car back. You can either steal a car in the parking lot and call your car back, or you can just walk back into the casino and I'll show you guys how to go through the valet service in order to get your car back. But you do have to enter the casino in order to get your car back. This process is going to be a little different depending on if you have a penthouse or not, which I currently do own a penthouse, so it's going to be the version that if you do have a penthouse. But either way, you're going to want to walk over here and hit right on the directions pad once you get to the desk to enter guest services. And then you can see that my valet service is free and it's actually in the parking garage. And then I can hit A on parking garage. It might be in my personal garage. But it's not, as you can see, because it's grayed out. So as soon as I hit that button, you will see that it will put me in my car just outside of the casino. Once it loads this cutscene, you also might be wondering, is there a different way to get my car back or my motorcycle back after I valet it? Which is why I'm going to be doing it one more time and showing you guys the other way to get your car back. So once again, you're going to pull up here and hit right in the directions pad once you get close enough and it will put you into the casino. But instead of walking back to guest services to pick it up, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. So let me get loaded in here and I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do in order to get your car back if you don't want to use the guest services way to get your car back. If you enjoy these kind of videos, be sure to give it a like and you can message me on my Instagram at MGSRGaming if you have any ideas for future how-to videos. But as you can see, I just got loaded in here and instead of going to guest services, which is the normal way to do it, you can see that my car is actually in the parking garage if I go through the same process. Once again, you go to valet services and then you'll see that it's actually in the parking garage because that's the one that's not grayed out. So if I actually go to the parking garage, I can avoid using the valet driver to get my car back. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to exit the casino and walk around to the other side of it to show you guys how to enter the parking garage in which that is the location that your car could be stored at or otherwise it could be stored in your casino garage. 
but that also all depends if you own a penthouse and a penthouse garage. But the parking garage is just around the corner here on my left. And you might have two options as soon as you get in here. You can either enter the parking garage or your personal garage. I'm going to enter the parking garage because that is where my motorcycle is at according to guest services desk. These two garages will actually look pretty similar. So make sure you're in the right one if you can't find your vehicle. But it looks like my motorcycle is right over here by these other cars. And it's actually right over here. And in order to pull out your vehicle, you can't actually hit gas pedal. You actually have to hit right on the directions pad by reading the top left note. So I'm gonna hit right on the directions pad and it should bring me out of the parking garage. And as you can see, I can drive this motorcycle now and do anything that I need to do with it. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and set post notifications to all because there are new how-to GTA videos coming out every day as well as MGSR server videos twice a week. You can also follow me on Instagram at MGSR Gaming. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow for our next GTA how-to video as well as an MGSR server video. Click in the top left to watch a video that YouTube recommends for you and click on the right to subscribe.